G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live in Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. I'm trialling the honeypot hive system with the local species Tetragonula hocking's eye. This episode, one, oh sorry, two months in, has the hive taken. Well, it's the 1st of November 2016, it's only about 8.30 in the morning and we've been having maximums now getting up to mid-30s, minimums now mid-20s, current temperature of good 28 degrees and rising nice and steady at the moment and these are ideal temperatures for this species of bee so they're already as active as hell as as you can see on the mother hive here well i've said it once and i'll say it again i'm bound to stuff things up i've made a previous video where i've had a look at things and you can guess what's happened yes i erased it yet again so i've had to redo it but that allows me to condense the information a little bit better so you're looking at the activity here of the mother hive What's the activity of the honeypot hive like? Let's have a quick look. And you will notice that the activity has... Oh, hang on, let me rest my arm here so I don't jerk it as much. That's a bit better. There it is. You will notice it's dropped right back. Right back. So, oh, that must mean that the hive hasn't taken or it's in trouble. What other things am I going to show you before we talk about things? Well, as you can see, it's got the new structure in place, well and truly, all working. And look down here, you will see a mat, a dog bed, in fact. And that is to collect rubbish as they fly out of the hive. So there's the hive entrance. Now, not all bees will land on that. Only about 10% of rubbish bees will hand, land on that. But it's a good way of finding out what's going on with your hive. All right, let's go back to just here so you can just have something to look at as I talk. So, how do we know this hive is taken? To understand this, we have to understand the life cycle of a native bee. Oh, let's put this down about here. That's probably a bit better. You get to see things now. Okay. And the life cycle is it takes 50 days from when a bit egg is hatched to when a bee emerges as an adult and begins its life. So at two months, 60 days, any brood, and this doesn't matter what method you use as a hive transfer, be it brood lifting, budding induction, seduction, splitting, Swarm capture. It doesn't matter the method. At two months, if you're seeing signs of brood hatching, you know your hive's taken without even the need to take off the lid and have a good look around. So, our numbers are good indication that this hive has taken. Well, guess what? No, it isn't. What did I do? On this hive you're looking at, if you watch previous videos, the initially the bees were sent, you know, sorry, the bees were positioned in front of here, and so they captured all the workers, probably a thousand workers. So in early videos, you saw activity like you wouldn't believe going on. But all those workers are now dead, Fred. They are dead. They've finished their lifespan. Any workers in this hive now coming out and foraging, um, not this hive you're looking at, the honeypot hive, they must have hatched or be part of the hive in the transfer. So numbers are not a good indication at two months. What is a good indication? Well, remember that tray, that trap we put down to capture the rubbish? Well, I saw dead workers in there, which is telling you that workers in there are dying, but more importantly, that there's garbage bees involved. Those garbage bees are still doing their duty. So that means that they like the hive. They're still allocating garbage bees to keep the hive clean and happy. That's a healthy sign. I've seen drones being kicked out. We're into our dry season here in the tropics. Drones being kicked out 
in the dry season, and what they do is they cripple the wings and kick them out so they can't come back. Drones will tell you that the food reserves are down, and they are because we're in the dry hot season in the tropics, so that there's no nectar and there's no pollen about. You can see from the, the bee activity in this strong hive, it's not raging like you see down south, so the bees are only sending up minimal workers to try to get fine pollen, but they're not finding too much. So, kicking out the drones, as, you, as any woman will tell you, get rid of the males, they're useless, and that's what they're doing. They're getting rid of the males. More importantly, I saw nurse bees down there. Now, what is a nurse bee? You've been watching these uh, bees fly in and out, and you can tell any filled with nectar, their abdomens are swollen. Well, they can swell their abdomens up as storage to bring back the nectar. They can't do it in their head. It's a fixed structure. The thorax is full of muscle, so there's no storage room there. So it's the abdomen. And they'll fill it up to about 40% of the volume. You will notice quickly, rewind now, you'll see rubbish being taken out. And that's the sign that I'd like to see in the honeypot hive. We'll keep going. Now, the nurse bees, oh sorry, now the bees coming back full of nectar, they can only carry about 30-40% of their weight in nectar. So they can only swell up their abdomen so far and still fly. So if they only swell it up, come back. Nurse bees don't have to fly. What they do is chew up pollen, nectar, add saliva and secretions, and then spew it up into pots. Now... When they do that, they want to be more efficient. They don't have to fly, so they'll actually eat lots. Hold a second while a plane flies over. Now, I mentioned that they swell themselves up. They'll actually gorge themselves so much, they split the plates on their back and will get up quite big. Their abdomens will be as big as the front half of their bodies. Now, if they do that... They, they take on a tiger appearance, a striped appearance. And they're quite noticeable. And guess what? I saw dead nurse bees. Day 58, day 56. That tells you then that there are nurse bees there living out their whole life as nothing more than nurse bees. It's a fallacy to believe that bees go through a complete life cycle and end up as workers. Some bees spend their whole life doing one job and one job only. So, nurse bees, that tells you that they'd be needed. There must be brood in there. What's another healthy sign? Well, at day 48, I saw dead larvae being brought out. These are white larvae that never matured. That's under 50 days. But that also tells you if it's under 50 days, there must have been brood in there because they never hatched or matured properly and have been removed. That's another healthy sign because that means then there would have been eggs at the split. And what do bees do when there's eggs at the split? They, and they don't have a queen, they will merge two cells, remove an egg and make a queen. So I've got opportunity for a queen as well. So overall, it's looking right. What didn't I see which I would have loved? Well, you saw what I mentioned earlier actual cocoons being removed. These are brown blobs about the size of the bee's head. They are a definite sign you've got brood hatching. Didn't see any cocoons being removed. That was disappointing. That would have told me brood's already hatching. But remember, didn't I see signs of a swarming about two weeks, three weeks after the hives were separated, indicating a queen might have been mated? Well, if a queen's been mated around that time and we give it 50 days to hatching, well, we're still at, you know, another week to two weeks before we'll see signs of that brood hatching if we've got a queen. So we're a bit early if they've had to put a new queen in that hive. So, what happened? Well, we'll go over to this one. You've seen enough bees there. This hive here. Oh, we'll go back a bit because there's no activity at the front. You might as well just have a look at that again. This hive here I opened up. And I'll show you the design feature and then I'll tell you what I found inside. So, 
I opened it up once before, so it should just open up nice. Oh, you can't see anything if I don't put it in the right angle. If I don't get the angle of the dangle right. Oh, there's plenty of propolis holding this lid down, by the way. There we go. Now, when you look down here, you will see a gap down that side and down that side. A bee's width gap. And I did that because I believed the bees needed that and would use it for ventilation. Did they use it for ventilation? Bloody oath they used it for ventilation. You will see here, glue, glue. Hang on, we'll go around here. I'll see if I'm a contortionist. Glue, glue everywhere. Oop. Okay, so they've been in there. They've actually glued everything down. The vent hole is this little gap here. Believe it or not, that's the vent hole. And you can see there's glue around there as well. So, they've glued it all up, and then, they're now controlling the ventilation of this hive by the gap at the bottom of here. Remember there's a gap, whether we did the induction the other side, it'd be about here somewhere. And there's a gap here. And they'll be have workers there. And what do they do? Let's be a contortionist again. If you can see that, and I've positioned it correctly, they seal it all but up, but leave a tiny little hole. And that's how they control the ventilation. And I'm willing to bet that this hive has done the same thing, controlling the ventilation. Another healthy sign? Look down there. See that bee? He's marking the entrance. He's marking the entrance with scent to say... This is a strong hive, don't come in. We've even got workers, guard bees. Look at that. That's a healthy sign, guard bees. It's all looking good. And what did I find? Well, when I opened it up the first time, yeah, I'll put this lid on here, just like that. I'll fix it up later. So there you go. So we got, we got signs of activity, not a lot. So what did I find when I opened it up? Well, there's brood in it, definite. There's a layer about three layers thick right across the bottom of brood, open cells, showing that a queen is operating. Honey pots, pollen pots at the side of the brood. But definitely a layer of about three layers thick of brood. That guard bee activity is the other indication. You see him running around, he's checking things out. He's not impressed with what's going on. He's actually on my forehead now. All that sort of activity, that's telling you it's good. So we've definitely, definitely got brood in this hive. I'm going to keep this trap here till I can see when they're starting to hatch. And then you'll see numbers improve. So it's taken. No question. 100% definite. Put the house on it. Next video, 1st of December. And we'll talk more about the life cycle of bees and moving hives bigger distances because now this hive's ready for movement. Till then.